Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, something uh, quite uh, a little bit different, let's say uh, that. So in October 2018 I attended uh, CanCon, which is a science fiction and fantasy conference um, which takes place in uh, Ottawa and it's uh, being attended by um, writers and uh, would-be writers and some of the fans. It's not a big uh, convention, maybe 250 to 350 attendees but uh, the, the panels are interesting, the guests are uh, quite amazing. <clears throat> um, so I had the, uh, the honor to be part of uh, the panel talking about uh, space exploration. Um, so uh, my um, co-hosts or my uh, co-panels were quite um, um, knowledgeable uh, in terms of uh, what it takes to uh, <clears throat> fly out in space, what type of uh, technologies are the, the latest ones. Um, how um, companies investing in uh, space exploration can uh, make a profit. Um, so again, the discussion was uh, quite um, interesting. Um, but at one point, the question, uh, this particular question came up, um, why do we do it? It's out of curiosity or uh, just because we need more resources? As you know, uh, I talked before and um, there's no secret that <clears throat> we are pillaging the Earth like there is no tomorrow especially through oil, gas explorations, fracking, um, water resources are being depleted. Um, so one point in time, uh, or at, at what point in time, if we don't stop and it doesn't look like these big corporations have any um, consciousness left, um, we'll have to uh, look somewhere else. So now the, uh, the, uh, the approach will be, are we going to uh, uh, keep the same mindset of uh, pillaging the other um, planets or other uh, systems we are going to, um, to reach or uh, we have to um, have a different uh, type of uh, mindset. Um, so in, in my opinion, we really have to reach a different level of uh, awareness and consciousness in order to, to be able to um, <clears throat> at least fly out there and um, um, be able to make contact first of all and second um, have a much more responsible approach when it comes to uh, natural resources or resources we, we need to, um, to su survive as a species. Um, so right now we are just, uh, you know, cohabitating into a, a muddy uh, mass consciousness. Uh, we still look at uh, <clears throat> physical asset accumulation, uh, instant gratification, and we are not willing to, to think that, uh, or think beyond that, that concept, uh, thinking that there is more to it than, than just uh, easy, easy life or uh, easy pleasure. Um, so if we decide to um, uh, fly out in, in space uh, for, uh, uh, you know, gathering resources or even out of curiosity, I think we have to leave behind the uh, mentality we have right now and uh, <clears throat> transcend to a different uh, vibrational um, state uh, because uh, again in my opinion whoever we are going to to meet out there uh, in terms of other uh, race they will be uh, potentially at a different uh, vibrational uh, level much higher than than us and there are uh, various proofs even on, on earth that uh, they are much more advanced than, than us technologically and um, um, consciously. Um, <clears throat> so think about it. Think about it and um, take some action on, on your own. Even you are doing right now great job uh, but uh, if you still have um, second thoughts, if um, you know spending a little bit of time meditating or uh, doing some introspection on a daily basis, it's, it's worth it. Um, I think it's worth it. Just allocate the time uh, for yourself because you don't do it for, for me or for someone else. You are doing it for yourself. Um, and um, that will go hand in hand with uh, you uh, evolving uh, as a human being to a different uh, vibrational uh, level, expanding your uh, consciousness and, and trying to, um, to connect to um, the matrix. Uh, once again, um, until next time, love and gratitude.